Asus Entas an RTX 4070 Dual and for today's video, i-review re natin siya. Amidst the pandemic of expensive GPUs na hindi worthy yung performance, where does this card sit? Gano'ng kalaki nga ba yung performance niya compared dun sa previous generation 70 card? And para sa'yo nga ba tong card na to? I'm Jay and this is the Asus RTX 4070 Dual Review. Alright, so for the specs, same sila ng CUDA core counts ng 3070, GDDR6, 12GB of memory, that's an improvement. It's a 200W GPU powered by a single 8-pin PCIe power cable na hindi kailangan ng adapters. Since it's a 70 card, ang target niyang resolution is 1440p. So it's a very basic 4070 card as you can see here, medyo maikli siya. Um, so if you're an ITX enthusiast like me, this card might pick your interest. Now, going with the design, um, as you can see, medyo basic yung design niya, walang masyado nangyayari. But if you look sa shroud, saka sa backplate, medyo maganda yung print siya. It looks great. Very minimal, but at the same time, parang premium siya tignan. And this is the part that we're all waiting for. Yung test system natin, it's a 13600K on a B660M motherboard na merong 16 gigs of RAM running at 3600 MHz. At the same time, nagrun na rin kami ng 3070 Ti for comparison dun sa review. So for games, nagrun kami at 1440p max settings. As you can see here sa performance, maganda talaga yung pinakita niya. Sa Forspoken, na very notorious sa VRAM usage, makita nyo ang ganda nung FPS. And mind you, no upscaling enabled yet. Ganon din siya sa other games. Isa sa mga magagandang thing na napansin namin sa 4070 is yung power efficiency niya. As you can see here sa Assassin's Creed Odyssey, at 1440p max settings, it's only drawing around 160 watts while giving you 108 FPS. Comparing dun sa ating 3070 Ti, it's already drawing 250 watts while only giving you 80 FPS. I mean, I can't say anything about it. Ang ganda ng power efficiency. So generally, ganun din yung performance sa ibang games. It's giving you around 50 to 60 watt savings while giving you 20 to 30 FPS more compared sa 3070 Ti. So, saan ka pa? So, doon naman tayo sa kanyang upscaling performance. On ultra settings with RTX enabled, Cyberpunk 2077 run around 33 FPS, which is barely playable. Now, enabling DLSS and frame gen, the game throws a whopping 129 FPS. That's 90 FPS increase just by enabling this feature. So, yun yung malaking advantage ng 4070. Meron kang access sa NVIDIA exclusive technology. Comparing yung cards sa 3070, malaki yung performance difference even with the games na hindi kailangan ng RT and DLSS. With the current pricing na minsan mas mahal pa nga yung 3070 Ti, parang no-brainer na kung ano yung better value na card. If you're going with 1440p gaming, then 4070 is your best option. Okay na okay din siya for productivity. We run some rendering and video editing benchmarks and the results are promising. It's a very good mid-end GPU if hindi mo naman kailangan ng power ng 4090 or a workstation GPU sa setup mo. So since this is an Asus card, it comes with GPU Tweak 3 software. This allows you to create and switch profiles if say for example gusto mo mag-overclock, voltage control, and fan control. Pero if wala kang masyadong idea sa OC or halimbawa duwag ka, meron siyang built-in OC profile and quiet mode profile. This also comes with hardware monitoring and OSD if gusto mo mag-monitor ng digits while you're playing. So, paano kanino nga ba talaga yung card? Para sa'yo. So, para kanino nga ba tong card na to? It's a budget 1440p card. Kung 1440p yung monitor mo and you want to play AAA games at max settings at 1440p, this card is for you. Kung mag-upgrade ka naman ng graphics card, make sure na you're using a 3070 Ti and below. I'm currently using a 3070 Ti and nanonotice ko na nakulang yung 8GB of VRAM sa ilang AAA games. 
So yung 12 gigs of VRAM will definitely help. Why 4070 and not 4070 Ti? Unang una, 20,000 pesos price difference. And hindi siya overkill na option for production level PC. So if yung focus mo is GPU accelerated rendering, maganda siyang midpoint. Sabi nga namin kanina, okay siya for productivity if kailangan mo na extra power without breaking your bank. Ultimately, the 4070 is a really great card. Do I recommend it? There are a few instances where I would recommend a 4070. First, if you want to upgrade and your current card is 3070 Ti and below. Second, if you really, really want to play the latest DLSS and RTX games. And lastly, if you will focus on GPU accelerated rendering but don't want to shell out that much money for a 4090. Honestly, for its price, medyo mahal siya for an entry-level 1440p GPU. Yung mga previous gen nga na 1440p GPU, halos ganun pa din yung performance and sometimes mas mura pa nga sila. Pero for this specific card, yung Asus RTX 4070 Dual, maganda yung build quality niya and solid yung thermal performance. And I love how the Dual line improved their quality and aesthetics from their previous gen. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. Join na rin kayo sa Discord server namin. Nandiyan yung link sa baba. Facebook, IG. Kung gusto nyo mag-check ng stocks, hwsugar.ph and yung shop namin dito sa Chino Rosas, Makati. See you next video.